Hello guys, welcome to mathematics class with Flash Isaac. Today I'll be taking you through Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras was an ancient Greek uh, philosopher. In his theory, known as Pythagoras theory, Pythagoras states that in a right angled triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the square of the opposite plus the square of the adjacent. This means that Pythagoras theory only works for a right angled triangle. A right angled triangle is a triangle whose one of the angles is equal to 90 degrees. This means that for Pythagoras theory to work or for it to be applied, one of the angles needs to be equal to 90 degrees. Otherwise, we can use other theorems or other rules like sine rules and course, uh, course rule to solve triangles. Now, given this right angle triangle, this, the longest part is the hypotenuse, which I've already explained in my trigonometry video. I'll share a link to that video so you uh, have a good basis. Now, uh, this acute angle, the side it is facing is the opposite. Why this uh, below is this way is called adjacent. Now, it's not always in this position, even when you flip it. So flipping this right angle triangle, this area, this angle, this acute angle, anywhere it is facing is the opposite. Why the longest part is always the hypotenuse and this other part is the adjacent. Similarly, even if you switch it this way, this part directly facing the uh, acute angle, this theta, is the opposite. This is the uh, adjacent and the longest part is the hypotenuse. So no matter how it is flipped, you need to know how this uh, name is work. Now, Pythagoras states that in this uh, right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse, let hypotenuse be H and let opposite be O, uh, let adjacent be A and let opposite be O. It says that hypotenuse square is equals opposite square plus adjacent square. What does that also imply? This hypotenuse is the side, opposite is the side and adjacent is the side. So in this uh, right angle triangle, we can also call a uh, B, so which means B is the hypotenuse. So it means that this B square is equals opposite, opposite which is C, C square plus adjacent which is A, uh, a square. If we are dealing with this one, it means that the hypotenuse y, y square is equals or uh, opposite s, s square plus adjacent z, z square. If we are dealing with this, it means that the hypotenuse l square is equals uh, opposite n square plus m square. So any angle you are dealing with note this in them. Now, it also means that since hypotenuse is from A to C, this length, it means that the length AC square is equals opposite. Opposite is A to B, this length. So, AB square plus adjacent is B to C, B, C square. That is what Pythagoras talk about. So, if I give you a question, something like this, and I say, uh, let here be 2, uh, uh, let here be 1, so find opposite. It is very simple. Hypotenuse, which is 2, 2 square plus opposite, which we are looking for. So let it be S, S square or O square, O square plus adjacent, which is 1, 1 square. This will simply give you 2 square, which is 4, is equals O square plus 1 square is 1. Collecting like terms, 4 minus 1 is equals O square. This implies that O square is equals 3 and O is equals square root of 3. This is how you deal with them. So, to get the unknown side or missing side, simply apply Pythagoras theorem. So, let's look at this a typical question. Find the length BC in the right angle triangle below. So length BC is simply from here to here, which is the same thing as A. What is this trying to tell us? It's trying to tell us to look for 
the adjacent because this is the adjacent and this is the hypotenuse now from pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square that is b square this hypotenuse or we can quickly use the length a c square is equals opposite a b a b square plus adjacent b c b c square that's pythagoras theorem now a c or simply b this is the same thing as b square is equals c square plus a square so looking at this a b is simply 13 so 13 and we are squaring it 13 square is equals this is a c a b which is the opposite is 5 so 5 square plus b c which we are looking for so b c square 13 square is simply 169 which is equals 25 plus b c square collecting like terms we have that 169 minus 25 is equals b c square this will give you 144 is equals b c square and in mathematics to remove square we look for square root of both sides so square root of here and square root of here we remove this square because we are looking for bc and not bc square so bc is simply equals the square root of 144 is 12 because 12 times 12 is 144 this is the answer to that question so here is 12 given this it says cos theta is equals 12 over 13 <coughs> now if cos theta is over 13 it means that because cos is adjacent cos is adjacent over hypotenuse over hypotenuse this means that we have something like this the hypotenuse is 13 the adjacent is 12 and the opposite is s so from pythagoras theorem we know that hypotenuse square is equals opposite square plus adjacent square and this looked at the question we just solved in the question we just solved we are given here as 5 and we solve for here to get 12 this means that if we solve here So this is equals 5. That means we've gotten the opposite. So opposite is equals 5. So adjacent is 12 and hypotenuse is 13. With this, we can answer this. So sine theta is equals opposite over hypotenuse. And opposite is 5, hypotenuse is 13. Similarly, tan theta is equals opposite over adjacent. And opposite is 5, while adjacent is 12 over 12. So we've answered that sin theta is 5 over 13 and tan theta is 5 over 12. So that is it on Pythagoras theorem for today. In the next video, I shall be doing uh, dealing with compound angles. I'll share a link to that video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.